In this video, I'm recommending five places I've been to in the last month where you can eat, drink, dance, and check out some great live jazz and blues. I'll also be getting an insight into what makes these places unique. So stand by for my five for June 2022. I'm here at Samyol at MRT station along Charon Krung Road. I'm in the area to visit the Olar Tapas Baron Kaf, which is a 200 meter walk in that direction. Okay, here at Olar Thai Tapas, I'm with Dashel and Nancy. You've been running this place for 10 months. What can customers expect when they pay a visit here? Uh, they can expect a mixture of Thai and Mexican food, a bit of a fusion Thai-Mexican and tapas as well, along with specialty cocktails and classic cocktails and an assortment of beer, anything you really like, yeah. During the weekend, mostly uh, on Saturday, we have our live music. It begins at 7.30 until 9.30. This area is becoming more and more popular as Thailand reopens, relaxes restrictions, more and more tourists around here. There's a lot of little hostels and hotels. And I understand you're renting out rooms as well. We do. We have three Airbnb rooms upstairs, um, quite good size, private bathrooms, great for families or groups perhaps. Um, and also nice center part of town to check out the temples, the palace, and come back, have some food and a beverage. So we look forward to uh, people stopping in and uh, things getting back to normal. Okay, fantastic. I've come to Sukhumvit Soy 29 to check out a place that gives you a huge slice of extra soul with your jazz, funk, blues and soul. It is of course the 29 Music Bar and Grill. Great place, Keith. What's the inspiration behind 29? Music that has soul, music, jazz that has soul, funk that has soul, blues that has soul, um, musicians and bands that play here that play with a lot of passion and soul that make you feel good. I, I wanted to create a, a venue that you could come and hear feel good music. That's, that was the inspiration, basically. I was here last night and the place was was rocking. Mm -hmm. it, it was you know yeah. you got a really good sound in here. Yeah. How do you decide who plays here? What musicians? What bands? Because there was a yeah. great guy on drums, you know, bass player, yeah, singer, fantastic. They're they're, they're a very good band. Uh, last night's band was called Why Not, and they're a jazz fusion band that play jazz, but with a, a funky, soulful kind of vibe to it and excellent musicians, all of them. And also, I think good musicians um, bring other musicians to want to jam with them. You've got a full house Fridays and Saturdays. Yeah. What goes on other nights of the week here? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm slowly, as, as we've only been open a month, I'm, I'm slowly choosing the the bands that are the, that are playing here and I've now got Wednesday Fridays and Saturdays that I'm building and as I build that then I'll add another day another night you know uh, we'll have our Sunday afternoon blues uh, sorry jazz jam happening from July uh, every Sunday afternoon from four to seven and um, there'll be a, a musicians jam night which could possibly be a Monday uh, Thursday's a special event so I've got uh, next month for example I've got um, an amazing blues solo guitar player coming in and so it's going to be a special treat so things like that you know but at the moment we have Wednesday Friday and Saturday live music and I'm just just trying to build a business on on, on that build a strong foundation
I'm about to visit a place whose popularity began as a mere whisper. Over time, that whisper got louder and louder. People are starting to listen and take note. It can only be Soy 33's best kept secret. It's propaganda. What's the inspiration behind the decor? Because it's definitely a cut above the rest, unique. When I started out as a junior reporter on my local newspaper, I started working my first days on a typewriter. So all that equipment I use initially is now retro assets that I miss. I miss the touch, I miss the feel, I miss the interaction of journalism and reporting. And I wanted to put that into the bar. So a lot of the decor in the bar is part of that. And the feeling again, as I mentioned, was a lot of bars in Bangkok, there's a lot of sport bars, Irish bars. And I want to create a bar where people actually go for a relaxing sanctuary, whereby you can just meet different people, different industries, um, but meet creative people and look for a conversation and have a nice chat in a relaxing bar. Just a place to have a nice cocktail, nice wine, nice time. You've got a great sound system in there and you're playing great tunes. Are you a big fan of 90s tunes? I'm hearing a lot of that. I have a very um, diverse selection of music. I have a couple of friends who put tracks together, playlists together. We're into anything that anyone wants to play. I'm very open to anyone who wants to play their own music. But again, we have live music on a Thursday and um, diversity is the key in the bar. Excellent, thanks very much, Tom. <laughs> I'm in the Victory Monument area, heading down Soy Rangnam. I'm going to an Indian restaurant that has been my favorite for the last couple of years. It is, of course, the highly recommended Stay Cafe. I'm with Sam, owner of the Stay Cafe here, around the corner from Victory Monument, and it's my favorite. Indian restaurant in the whole of Thailand. I've said that many times on video. Sam, first thing, whenever I recommend this place to my friends or people on YouTube or Twitter, they always say a stay cafe. What's with the name there? Because it's not a typical Indian restaurant name, is it? That's right, that's right, Pat. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming over. Uh, yeah, the stay cafe doesn't sound like an Indian restaurant at all because we started with uh, a Thai, uh, Thai and European food and we had used to have a hostel upstairs and uh, then later on when it was a uh, pandemic time we just changed to Indian restaurant me and my wife started cooking and we started selling it so we didn't know that it's going to be that popular <laughs> uh, thanks to my wife she is a great cook and um, I say uh, we still sell homemade food so it's like homemade food with a touch of a little bit extra ingredients. Extra and ingredients. That's right. That's a homemade ingredients as well. We have all the masalas and everything in-house. We made everything in-house. So we buy all the raw material and make it over here. On the weekends, you've got the very popular 299 buffet. And I believe that's booking only? Or? No, we do accept buckets as well, but we prefer people to book. They will get the seats over here and it's as much as you can eat within one and a half hour and also we are not doing the buffet every weekend it's uh, alternative weekends yeah and we give one and a half hour so we start 10 30 first first slot is from 10 30 to 12 12 to 1 30 and 1 30 to 3. and this is also a place you can come and have a beer as well they've got great music yeah that's playing true, as yeah. well so and this is a like indian cafe you know it's like you cannot say a restaurant but it's like an indian cafe where you can chill uh, have cold beer chill beer open a wine bottle which <laughs> the wine goes very well with the indian food so yeah not a lot of people think like i think, sure. I think it, does. it goes pretty well there so. yeah. you got indian chinese dishes on your menu that's right and one thing i noticed some of the things on there are very much like cantonese like you got chow mein 
chicken 65, right. which is mm -hmm. like a spicier version of sweet and sour. That's true. Which is uh, well recommended. Yeah, these are the dishes like not many people are aware of it. Um, they don't want to try, but once they've been explained well, they do give it a try and they love it. Yeah. Fantastic. Sam, it's Thank been a you. pleasure. Pleasure, sir. Thanks so very much. much. Stay Cafe. Thank you. It doesn't Stay need any more <laughs> advertising than that. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. I've come to Tong Law to check out a British pub in a classier part of Bangkok. Well, if you are British, you're definitely going to feel at home here tonight as it's just started raining. I'm at the Old English pub in Tonglo, a place famous for a fine selection of wines, draft beers, a menu packed full of British pub grub favourites and Thai food. And they have promotions every night of the week, a happy hour every day between 2 and 5 p.m., as well as live music. So if you want to get away from Sukhumvit Road to a place where you always get a welcome and a smile, check out the Old English pub in the heart of Tonglo.